For to do more Venmo than cash, I can probably do like half and half if that's fine. Half, half. It goes through great. I set up just a friends and family Venmo. Perfect. That's all I did. Good. I didn't do the business one or like that. Yeah. And, and you should be good on that one. Linked it to an account. The whole nine There should be 28 of them. Okay. And you took a picture of what they were? Yeah, I'm just checking through my stuff. That's there. All the bigger cards are there, so I assume it should be right. Let's see, one. Yeah, no, please look at it. I want you to look at it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. All of them there. All the same green, it's the exact same color. Perfect. All right, so let's do out there. So try your Venmo first. Yes. And then that way I can see if it, assuming I have service in here. Well, it's early, so hopefully we do before the crowd comes in. Put that right here. Another 320 on there, and then we're at. We should be at um, 53.45. Fifty-three. I was at. Well, we are at fifty-eight. Oh, I'm sorry, eighty-five. Yeah, it was eighty-five. Fifty, eighty-five. Yeah, it, was, it should be like fifty-four hundred-ish. Fifty-four oh five. Yeah. Put that there. All right. So we're gonna go that at six. Go. See the blue spot. Yeah. Looks like it's a gum stain. Blue gum? It might be a gum stain. Not 100% tell. I don't think that blue is a gum stain. I don't know. It might. It could be. But that other part definitely looks like it's a gum stain on the back. Because you can tell, like, look how it goes all the way across on there. I'm not sure where that, like, blue slash purple is from. But, yeah, you see how, like, the gum would have stuck right there. I think it has a little bit to the character on it. Awesome, so we're doing it six for everything. All right, put that in there, that stack. All right, we got a deal on it. Thank you guys. $6,000 later, we got this bag of cards over here. I'm gonna show you guys some of the highlights in here. It was a really fun deal to close. It ended up taking two days. There's a few extra cards I was interested in, uh, but we just didn't have enough time to finish that one yesterday. Let's see it. Guys, so here is the lot itself. And there, I mean, there's so much over here, I had to throw it on the other side. So I gotta show you guys some highlights, of course. And we can't cover every single card. But up first, if you're not familiar with the 1969s, this is a lot rarer of a mantle. This is the white lettering. Now it is a two. What I thought was kind of cool on it is it does have a gum stain here on the back. Love it or hate it, it's still part of the era. And uh, one of the mantles that are popular. This was also his last official card uh, because he ended up retiring. What also is pretty cool over here, we have a Grover Alexander. His stuff is really hot right now. And I just really like the pose on this card. We got the Walter Johnson T207 in a four. I mean, finding stuff from the early 1900s in a four is tough with baseball cards. And Walter Johnson, like I said, my video, if you haven't watched it, in my opinion, is one of the greatest pitchers of all time. Up next, we have the 54 Jackie. Always a classic on that one. Smokey Joe Wood. 
And originally with this card, I don't know how well it picks up on camera. I thought this was a defect with this line, but all these cards actually had this line. So kind of interesting on that one. Otherwise, like if this wasn't there, I mean, this would probably be a one, but every single one that I've seen has that line on there. It was a printing defect, which I did not know about it. Other cards, I mean, there's so much we could go over here. We got the Gaudi Ott, just covered him in a video. We're gonna be covering Jimmy Fox soon. This does have a pin hole. It's kind of an ugly card, but Fox stuff is always popular. I mean, it's kind of sad when a 57 Mantle isn't even on the honorable mentions of this lot pickup, but I'm trying to do this a lot more at card shows. Hopefully we're able to do that. We'll finish off with one more 1933 Carl Hubble in a beautiful looking card. We'll see some more deals that we make today. I'm probably gonna set up a little bit as well, price some of these things out, but man, oh man. First uh, 6,000 bulk lot deal at a show. Both of them. He's got, he's got yours and mine. If it was a bow, it'd be another story. Yeah. We were there, they were by the time we got to the hotel. We didn't have a just general pass, so we were going to the show down with Devin. We went to train that train that was like, it was like 50 people in line across uh, a mile and a half. Great quality control on this one. Look at this. identified to us today by a guy that collects it. Yeah, that's actually so funny though. Upside down Miguel Cabrera autograph jersey from Prime Cuts 2012. All right, let me know how much I you. You got it, my friend. Rookies, 50 bucks. 50 bucks. That sound fair to you? No. Yes, sir. What Sounds pretty fair. Drew got the autograph next to the bathroom. Thank you. Guys, anything in a box? Any kind of Can't go wrong, value boxing. So I picked up those seven for $50. Most of these I'll just throw on either like Twitter sales or like online marketplaces, whether it's like an eBay or iSlab. Some of them are pretty niche, but they're kind of cool cards, especially like that Baltimore Orioles for bat piece in that early Alex Rodriguez patch. Grabbed this maze at trade night yesterday and it's already going to a new home for 215 bucks. I mean, I don't know what it is. I mean, I think it's a little bit card show overkill too. There's so many shows going on everywhere. So these are there. So I'll do 100 on those four, knock off 10 bucks on that, and then I'll just honor the sticker on those 350. Go to Philly last week? No, I didn't. I went to another show. Have you it was been a, there before? What? Have you been to I've been to Philly, show? but not their new location yet. The new location was okay, but it was packed. I went there for the non-sports show when they had it at that location. So there's Is a field. There's a. It's so cool because like, obviously you know what to expect at these type of shows, but the non-sports stuff, there's so much out there that every time you go to a new table, you're gonna learn new things. And the best part, like the non-sports show, they're all diehard collectors. So the best thing about collectors is always educating. Like when you go to the table, you're like, so have you seen this set before? Do you know what this is? And they'll teach you about this stuff. And you're like, perfect. I don't even have to research this stuff. They're teaching me for me. Yeah, that's why I was with this guy. Yeah, I know. He was telling me He's super knowledgeable. Like ask him on stuff or like, blah, 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 blah. Here's all this information. And that's the best way to learn. Because you have the real dealers over there. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. So I didn't bring my GoPro or camera, but I made Few more deals two different dealers 225 total 50 for the relics and also 175 for the mantle 
Relics will be my PC of a dawn sudden, but this patch on it is really great in a autograph. And we have a triple Hall of Fame relic from 2009 triple threads. 61 mantle I always get asked about, so definitely need to add one to the inventory. Close in on the Frank Robinson rookie. Pick this one up for $80. All right, so I had this really nice 1965 mantle walk up to my table. Now there's obvious defects on the front of this card, uh, but wanted to take a little bit of a risk with grading it. So ended up paying 500 cash plus this Clemente over here. I'm gonna get this graded most likely by PSA or SGC, and we'll see how we do. Last pickups of the show are gonna be these large top loaders, which will help for my music and non-sports PC and also some standard ones. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed the card show vlog. Thank you again to New England Card Show for having me out here. And if you haven't watched my first ever New England Card Show back a few months ago, click right here to see that video.